Okay, here's my uh, 2003 caravan. I'm going to uh, show you guys my radiator. Uh, I think I suspect I have a leak somewhere. So, because every time I come out here and check it, you can see it's kind of dropped down a couple inches. I mean, there's some in there, but it's down a ways. So, I'm going to top this off and then I'm going to pressure test it. The way I'm going to pressure test it is I'm going to take off, I'm going to put my cap on. I'm going to, well, first I'm going to fill it up, put the cap on, then I'm going to pop this overflow hose off. I'm going to stick my tool in there and pressure test it. Then I'm going to look for leaks. So I'm going to take this little hose off, if we can. to happen but the thing just broke off. Yeah. Uh, okay. And got that off. I'm gonna take my uh, little tool here. Uh, I'm gonna take my tool that I made and hopefully get this on here I kind of got it started you just gotta work this stupid thing on. okay got this uh, hose clamp on now I'm gonna try to tighten it down with All right, that ought to be good. Now I'm just going to put my radiator cap on. Put my cap on. Okay, I got this. Uh, got my radiator cap on. My hose clamp tightened down. Going to uh, take off my Schrader valve and get my pump here. It's pretty simple here. Push this in. Okay, so as you guys can see here. Got this hooked in and this hooked up. I'm going to try to pressurize this. And right away I can tell that that's leaking. Okay, I think I found what my problem is. I was checking to see if I had like a head gasket or intake leaking, but uh. I don't have an intake leak or I don't hear any hissing or any noise over here but to me it looks like my cap is leaking like my cap is not sealing good you hear this noise it makes that noise all the way down to even like five pounds and there may be a leak in the radiator right here but I don't see it and I only see it squirting out of the cap so, see, yeah, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I can hear a hissing right here. I don't hear that anywhere else but around here, so I'm not sure if I got a crack in my radiator or if I got a cap that's bad. I'm going to try replacing my cap first, but uh... 
I think it's just leaking right out of the top of my cap. And it's too cold out here right now to be messing with this, so I'm going to go buy a cap and do this test again. And also, if it's a bad cap, that would explain why my overflow tank's not flowing back in. The cap's bad, the vacuum's bad. Uh, but I don't hear, I was looking for leaks in the intake and by the heater core and I don't hear anything. 